they're not working here at home either. Everything, every time they're printing the money, what's it doing? It's artificially inflating the stock market. It's not helping our housing prices. As Americans, our equity is our home, right? And you're not seeing the home. You're not seeing the whole uh, housing area doing better. Mortgage rates are low. Housing is low. And even though the prices are coming down, nobody's buying, right? Mm. So it's really I, stagnant. I and think, a double dip recession, particularly in housing, mm. is problematic. I think I'm the average person out there. I don't know what to do with the money that I've worked hard to save over the years like everybody else. Do you put it in property now? Is now it's at the low? Or is it going to go lower? When you think we might be hitting another you know, housing bubble. We keep hearing that that may occur. Uh, only six states, correct me if I'm wrong, have AAA bond ratings, right? right, right. For municipals. And some of them are practically and, like junk bond status, like are, California. Right, exactly. Right. And, right. and Moody's is saying that America's well, AAA bond rating is a risk. Does that mean treasuries already aren't paying anything right. anyway? Right. So, so think about the, the analogy of the 1970s and the Carter era, because I think that's what we're back to, the S word. Mm. Uh, stagflation. stagflation. Right. Exactly. And so what happened in the 70s? What made money in the 70s? Gold, commodities, right. uh, anything. Right. Now we're paying but financial assets an felt like crazy. Ounce. How much right. higher can it go? And how about treasuries? Oh, gold could go to 2000 easily. The 10-year treasury is below right. 3%. Who's going to invest in a 10-year treasury? 3%. Percent. Except well, for that China. was supposed to be our safe haven, you know and yet not so great. Sean, yeah. you know, why would any, this is the mystery to me. Why would anybody buy a 10, 20, 30-year treasury bill Nobody. at a 3% interest rate Nobody. when we've got 5% inflation? You lose money on yeah. that. But you know what that proves? That Americans are so frightened right now. Right now, of the future, they'll take the two percent loss. Exactly. Wait, how about because this? They wanna, they how don't about want the rhetoric the about the psychology out of the administration? Shovel-ready projects. Oh wait, not yeah. so shovel-ready after no, all. No, but that means in or the just laughter. Just like we can do it, and yeah, and laughing yeah. about it on top of. I wish we had the sod handy. But everybody, so, let me go to the politics of this. All right, so the president, this is his economic plan. Nearly five trillion in Obama debt mm -hmm. since he's been president. When you include the stimulus, not including health care. Um, so he's got record debt, record deficits, unemployment that he can't fix. Right. As you pointed dollar out. dollar that's falling. And dollar that's right. falling. Health care. Confidence down. Right. Health care bills. Health care terrible. Right. So how, how does he possibly okay. turn some of this around for the election? Well, he's got to do what Clinton did. He has to move to the middle. He has to do a budget deal to get spending down. Too late. He's got to do. I don't know if it's too late. I just don't know if he is, has it in his DNA I to be able so. to do this. I he's mean, a rigid ideologue. Right. I think that's the problem. And when and you ask you the liberals in the, in the White House and around him well, what to do, you know what they want? Another stimulus plan. No, it's insane. <laughs> and well, I don't what think are the people, people you work him. with these Wall Street guys all the time? I don't think people believe him because I think that even when he train, changes his rhetoric and tries to move more towards the middle, they know in his heart that's not where Where are those stands. Wall Street guys putting their money? Wall Street guys putting their money, they're moving it around is yeah. what they're doing. They're China. playing what's hot, <laughs> yeah. right? You play commodities, you play the stock market, they move it around. And mm. when they're really nervous, they put it into cash. And right now, people are very nervous. But you know, real estate isn't such a bad buy right now. There are those houses in places like Florida, They've fallen so no, much I agree. in value. This Look is Miami. not a bad time Miami's to buy a house. Yeah. You know. I don't know. There's not well, so much confidence. And I don't think in, you know, Americans are ready to get out there and start right. spending. They're not feeling good. They're feeling miserable because we saw the misery That's index. That's why we call right. the misery index. We got <laughs> Guys, good to see you. And just a reminder, uh, Fox News Channel has launched a brand new application. And I love my iPad. You'll, I hope you love yours. And you get all the great features from foxnews.com and our iPhone application. It's optimized specifically for your iPad. You can browse the happening now section for a quick snapshot of the day's hottest stories, plus get news alerts, stream live videos, and watch the latest Fox News Channel video clips. You download the Fox News app for free. It's in the App Store. For more information on the web, just go to foxnews.com slash iPad. Let not your heart be troubled. When we come back, our great, great, great American panel is next. And joining us on our great, great American panel, he's a former deputy assistant secretary of state, Fox News contributor, USA Today columnist, Bob Beckles here. He, a Fox News legal analyst, Peter Johnson Jr., is with us. And from the Young America's Foundation, Kate Obenshain is with us. All right, um, union leader, you know, I'm waiting for Obama to step in, Bob, because after Chris Christie was compared to Adolf Hitler and a Nazi, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure Obama's going to talk about civility. Here's what was said. We have Adolf Christie and his two generals trying to make New Jersey Nazi Germany. It took World War II to get rid of the last Adolf Hitler. It's going to take World War III to get rid of Adolf Christie. Where's, I'm sure the president will call for civility, Bob. I think what he'll do is call for some value for that guy. Uh, <laughs> 
I, I have nothing to say. I mean, I, I mean, what are you going to say after that? I, I, I would not say that that was necessarily the view shared by a whole lot of people who are Democrats. I mean, you know, it's, it's something like this when, when uh, in these in these battles, these labor battles in states. I know what it's like. You get really, you get you, you get uh, like wired that? up, and you. Well, sure. I mean, it happens. It happens. Look, Obama. You, look, you've seen the, the the things with Obama, the Tea Party things with the fringe of those. We're showing him as Hitler, and I mean, you know, this happens. No, no, no. no, no. You got fringes on both sides. No. That was not the Tea Party movement. The Tea Party movement did not. They policed themselves, and anybody that came there to disrupt it was thrown out. Well, well, okay. okay. Bob, this is the last dying gasps of the union bosses. They know what everybody else knows, that only 7% of American private workers are in unions. And they are trying through the NLRB and kicking Boeing out of South Carolina. They've got to do whatever it is, so they're going to start hurling invective and name-calling. After that, the next guy compared them to um, greedy CEOs. I mean, they're calling names because they know the evidence is that right-to-work states Employment is growing. Peter? Organized labor is having a meltdown yeah. after Wisconsin. They said, oh, my God, this court actually upheld it over these silly objections. And so they're losing it. This guy lost it. Bob's right. Let's get him the drugs. Well, listen, <laughs> listen let's keep in mind for anybody out there that has a two-week paid vacation or anybody who has a child that doesn't have to work in a dangerous uh, environment, anybody out there that gets uh, overtime for working over 40 hours. You can thank labor union members for doing that who went to the lines. All you can say, all you want about labor union people. My dad, my dad was hang one. On a second. Do you think labor unions ought to have a right to tell companies and the right to veto where a company moves if a company wants to go from one state to another? Why, why would they have the right? No, they unless, the unle unless they're moving that company in order to avoid high, keeping people at work. Well, that's not their no, issue. I, I don't listen. The, the, South Carol the, the South Carolina issue is a complicated issue. No. I, I think they've invested a billion dollars in it. I don't think it's a good idea to shut it down. I, I don't agree with it. Peter? Uh, let, let's not talk about the value of unions. We understand the value of unions. They've done some great things over time. But when they begin to destroy a country, when they bring state to Destroy state a down, country? Oh, absolutely. We're, we're staggered by the numbers. We can't afford what they're asking for. And Kate so just said there's only 7% of them, so but we're, they're we're must be pretty tough them, sons of bitches to do that. Back, there are some of them are pretty tough. Pull back a little bit. Let the others get. Let us all live. It's not all about unions. It's about all of us. All right, uh, Kate? 7% of private sector workers. The government is still controlled by unions. And the point is that the, um, the benefits that they're getting are completely excessive compared to the private sector. They, so they negotiated a deal. And that, that guy, Scott, that governor who will lose uh, and should be recalled and shouldn't be governor in the first place, uh, the fact is those people you, negotiated, they have a right to negotiate a contract. Do you think that, there should be, um, that they shouldn't have the right to a, a private ballot? I mean, do you support card check and that sort of thing? No, I don't. I, I the think, union is trying to force its The very its things that, that Governor Walker fought for is the very things that the union employees under Obama live under, Bob. Look, so, you, on, can, you, so the same we have a, we have a have fundamental Obama. right to use our labor and negotiate for it and to commune together to negotiate. Commune. And it, yeah, that's right. That's exactly Beautiful right. Comments. We have, a, we have the right to organize. You know why? Because if not, right. the history of corporate people who are thugs okay. and who hurt laborers is right now it's the union bosses or the Great the American thugs. Panel next. And we'll continue with our Great American Panel. By the way, I once had the experience of playing golf with Mr. Beckel. Oh. Right? Uh, which we and I we had a good time. I'm not yes, a good. Yeah, I'm not a good golfer. I'll, I'll I'll hand you. You're much better than you think you are. All right. Well, uh, I can hit the ball, but it's more athletic than a real golf skill. Um, so we have the U.S. Rory McIlroy, the amazing kid, amazing background, amazing life. But NBC starts this. And they edit out the words under God twice in the pledge. Here you go. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Read that! Who? Of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation. They are the virtues that have been passed down through generations. Now, Kate, once I would say it might have been an oversight. They might have just cut it twice. It comes as no surprise whatsoever. The left has been trying to edit God out of our country ever since prayer in schools was banned. I mean, this is... Yeah, I agree with you. New view of American exceptionalism. 
typical of NBC, everything except God. That's the new American exception. You're a lawyer, Peter. Our founding document, you know, refers to God. Sure. We're endowed by our creator, our declaration. And, 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 and this uh, pledge has been upheld in many, many, many courts. And the reference to God comes from a reference to the Gettysburg Address, right. mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln. This was passed by an act of Congress back in 1954, right. assigned by President Eisenhower. The courts have looked at it. This is sick and it's wrong and it sends a bad message to our children. It's not up to networks to decide exactly. what the Constitution it, it, is and what our pledge is. Well, the, first of all, let me say to my friend Kate, um, the left is not trying to get God out. I happen yeah, to be are. I happen to be a Christian for and you, I Bob. No, there's a lot of us who are who are believers who do not believe whoever the, the monumental idiot was who made this decision to do this. I uh, should have been fired immediately. The idea, and it was so obvious. That's the other thing. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 wasn't even, it wasn't even a good editing job. I mean, what are you trying to accomplish except to give uh, Kate and Peter and you uh, something to dump on me about? I mean, I don't like the guy simply for that Look, reason. Um, but uh, actually, no one's they actually, you, Bob, they, no, no. But I'm just saying, you can't you can't say that le collectively Bob, the Bob, left they, is trying to get rid of God. actually is something that they're trying to accomplish here. It's the secularization of American society. Oh, I, I think this you're, I think you're wait, giving wait, them wait, much, too much credit. Let me say something. Let me say something. Okay. Right the Amer America was founded on the notion that our rights come not from government but from God. And what the left believes is that government is supreme and government tells us what to do, that, and they that, should because they know best. That is just not that. That is that. Just, and that's because that is, that is why that, we are the freest country Kate, on the face of the earth. Kate, I, 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 that is so unacceptable to it me to hear you say that. It is not unacceptable. It's exactly what that the left it, has for been us trying to, to do suggest, systematically. To suggest because you're on the left that you're trying to elevate government beyond our creator that's the is something mentality, that I refuse to accept. That, Bob? What's but the point? The point is, do you think that NBC got together? Why do they do that? Here's my point. Okay, do you think that a bunch of them got together and a conspiracy to do that? No, somebody, somebody who was editing that thing made that. Peter, I don't think Wait a minute. But there has been every legal effort to remove God from the public square. And I think that's what Kate's saying. And I think Kate's right. And Bob, the, the, you know, there's a kid this year that can't mention I don't God. Think, I, don't, I don't think. I, I, I love Bob. Bob thinks that labor unions are responsible for America. And, and he thinks that this is just an innocent mistake. It's not an innocent mistake. It's about the secularization of America, but it's more than that. It's the balderization of an American principle and American law. And, and that you, is are, the you law agree, of the land. Are you agree with Kate then that this is a left-wing conspiracy? Is that what you're no, suggesting? No, I agree it's, it's that whoever edited it had a left-wing sensibility, Th that's, and he that doesn't may believe very, in that the That may very well be the case, but for well, those of us who do not believe this is the right thing to do. Let me you ask you this. So I condemn it. Are, are, is, 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 do you deny the ACLU, other liberal groups, have been trying to remove God in, from the I public think, square I think that they have, public schools? The ACLU has done a lot more than that, by the way, including representing uh, people who are on the far uh, right. Ocean Grove, New Jersey, Palm Desert, New Jersey, There is a separation of There is a separation of There is a separation of church and state. We have to keep that in mind, but and we I think were not in the pledge. The but no, of the not in the pledge. I've, I've already, we've had this battle, and I agree. Okay, I'm not here arguing with you about that. Steady I think it was a stupid mistake on the part of NBC, and they should. Innocent. Right. They somebody should apologize. Wasn't a stupid mistake. Guys, good to see you. Appreciate it, and uh, that's all the time we have left. Greta's next. See you tomorrow night.